Hello, Mrs. Rust Group. We're going to do a chair selfie. So you have these papers here, but you need to make it like you. Here's just a photocopy so I can show you what I'm talking about. One of the reasons that I wanted you to see this is that sometimes when you go to make faces, you just naturally put the eyes really high and the nose really low. Or maybe the hair is super high on the, on the uh, shape. So what we're doing is we're going to be changing the proportions like you studied before. Shh. Please draw it light so that he races so easily. So go ahead and make two lines like that. Right at the top of the ears is where the eyes can go. See how lightly I'm drawing it? You can barely see it. I'm going to get a little closer. So light that it erases very easily from the cardboard. Okay? Halfway between the eyes and the chin is the nose. Halfway between the nose and the chin is the mouth. And if you want to, you can look at some of these papers about how to draw the eyes if you want to. You can even draw in emotion. There's examples of eyes, nose, and mouths. And also, you can look at a paper like this, which shows you how to do it. Your hair always starts here. Even if you have a super, super short haircut, it doesn't start up here. It starts somewhere down here. So if I'm going to do a, sort of like a man's haircut, even if it's super short, I'll go ahead and decide like where it is on the ears. You can look in the mirror to say, and there you go. One trick that I found out from looking online and also maybe you saw and remembered was the nose as a canoe, two parentheses, and a little darkness. Real easy, all done. And the mouth actually starts from the middle of the eyes. We don't have to. Just look for the um, upper lip and the lower lip. I think you got this, guys. I'm real proud of you. So you just go ahead and make your cardboard selfie. Well done. Have fun. Let's give them a round of applause. Come on, class. Woo! Yay! Okay. Bye-bye, Rusties.